there were so many people who tried to message me oh rohan where are you how how is everything we would like to uh, back uh, in in kerala and hope yeah. like you should do a film or whatever so i'll tell you like how honestly i i got the film in i on i happen to do uh, matthew paul was so lively so fun loving and we we did a nice handshake moment and then he was like really happy and re- was really intrigued with that new uh, new kind of thing he really liked my uh, you know audition and everything and then we did that ad first was the ad uh, yeah. and that ad became like super popular yeah there was one very important line called adi boli or something like everywhere i used to go he feel used to remember me hey adi boli hey adi like boli yeah. <laughs> do still malayalis recognize me because i know toronto is a place where there are a lot of malayalis there i had a different uh-huh. hairstyle then you know i had okay. a big face very funny different cute hairstyle so maybe uh-huh. not uh, honestly like i have so many malayali friends so i haven't told them anything about it uh, i will wait and see uh, if they okay. if they recognize me then you know when i look back those days it was a very nice pleasant experience for me i hope i come there soon and like make some good movies for my for my people for my for my fan there hi hello behind woods viewers inna nammada kodiyulla guest 90s kids ne ke oru bhayara familiar aayulla oru face aanu hopi enna ad ilude vannu pinide ifn amma deepachudu enna movie le oru lead character ne cheyidu namukku valare familiar aayulla oru face aanu so let me welcome rohan painter to the show well so thank you so nice thank you yeah. so much for joining oh no absolutely it's so nice for you to connect because uh, i have been like uh not stayed with the with the kerala industry for so long and i want to like reach reach out there and like you know see how how things are happening like how how the people are reacting to movies and everything so it, it's it's really good of you like you know to to connect with me and find out like where i am what i'm doing and everything so it's nice it's it's, it's good to have like the bond now back again so okay that's great so how are you spending your lockdown days You are, oh, you are right now you are in canada you, you mean you are in yeah. toronto i suppose yeah i'm i'm actually based in toronto now um it's been like almost 8 8 9 years uh, i've been here well uh, in terms of the lockdown days it is such a different experience like i'm sure like not just for me but like for everybody who's experiencing this since uh, well the, the thing that kicked off here was from march i think 15th or uh, i think at that point where everything like just got shut down I basically act in uh, I I basically uh, sometimes act but I also like work in the Toronto film industry here um uh-huh. I'm the, I'm the camera uh, lighting and like I work as a cinematographer here in in the oh, cinematography okay. department so I mm-hmm. so there was like a lot of shoots happening and everything like just got canceled suddenly mm-hmm. and then everybody is wondering like what happened like why is everything like just they shutting down and everything and then this whole lockdown thing kicked in and It was a very different experience for me. Well, uh, okay. I tried to initially I tried to like make myself more productive and you know mm-hmm. try to uh, try to like learn things and you know try to connect also with my fans back home. Like you know I started messaging okay. uh, so many people from Kerala. Like yeah. uh, like many people started like for, uh, because my birthday also came in and then there were so many yeah. people who tried to message me. Oh Rohan, where are you? How how is everything? We would like to okay. uh, see you back uh, you know in in Kerala and. hope yeah. like you should do a film or whatever so i was like constantly in in touch and like you know kind of uh talking to them so that was like uh-huh. really nice like it's uh, it's very heartwarming um to hear from people back there but apart from that i've been like trying to work out you know eat healthy food try to bake as well <laughs> you know yeah. bake what's happening and then like uh, watching a lot of uh, tv shows but just like you know there's nothing to do actually you know, <laughs> yeah yeah you can't even go out you can't like uh-huh. like mingle or merge with people uh there was like 6 feet dif- uh, like distancing and Distance, yeah so a lot of lot of things so it was a different life changing experience for me and also like a bit of um like 6 7 months of break even there's break right now as well but things are starting to come up but at oh, that yeah. point like uh, it was a good life changing experience because uh, i i got to know myself more uh mm-hmm. i got to understand i i started meditating as well because after so much of like like hustling like you know for mm-hmm. for a long time and like working like constantly working and constantly having your time in your career and ambition uh it was a good uh you know space and time to uh mm-hmm. kind of get to know myself and everything so it was nice uh, i tried to learn handstand as well so i was trying to oh, that's good that's great uh-huh. <laughs> that was something different so okay. i got it yeah <laughs> but uh 
just like that yeah it was uh, it was a, it was something it was a different experience okay. in my life so you know soon after when you finish up with you know are you pendam and even juto i think then before i think before that uh, the poppy ad came out after that i suppose right after no, the I, movie no, i think that it was, was before, before, before yeah. Movie, yeah yeah so before the movie you had that then everybody was singing on this then the movie yeah. came out Uh, yeah, then yeah, yeah. you did the movie, and uh, then everybody was, you know, so oh, this is that, you know, everybody started, you know, recognizing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, this a, there is was a very, that. yeah, there was a very important line called Adi Boli or something. Adi Boli. Ah, yeah, yeah, Adi Boli, yeah. Adi Boli. So yeah, that yeah. that that line was so popular, uh, and like, like even here, like yeah. I have so many Kerala friends, like they recognize uh-huh. me, they remember me, but that that line yeah. was so popular, and when I when yeah. when I did film, like uh, first was the ad. uh yeah. and that i became like super popular like it was like everywhere everybody knew that ad then i yeah. then i did the film and when i when i was yeah. staying there for 3 months or like 4 months yeah. for that for the for the whole schedule of the film like mm-hmm. everywhere i used to go people used to remember me hey adi boli hey like adi that. boli yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly they used to uh, recognize me then and i was like <laughs> oh yeah 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 i mean like uh, it was a it was a very nice experience uh, back then um okay. so i'll tell you like how how honestly like i got uh, into uh-huh. into the film like in in the, exactly. in i when i happened to do was uh, i did this film before like so i so matthew paul the director who also directed the film um did the ad as well right which got really yeah, popular yeah. so he came he, he personally came to mumbai um to audition like you know uh, kids and like to see how um, like like what's a what's a good suited character for his ad so that's when i met him for the first time and it mm-hmm. was such a different experience honestly it was like i w- i should have been i don't even know like 5 6 years old and it's like 20 20 years now for me yeah. but i i still so like it was such a fun experience uh when i was auditioning for that ad um mm-hmm. because uh, uh matthew paul was so lively so fun loving and we we did a nice handshake moment where uh-huh. i i showed him like a like a good uh, like a good handshake kind of friendly way handshake moment and he was like really happy and re- was really intrigued with that new uh, new kind of thingy so uh, okay. we did that and then, and then after that like he really liked my uh, you know audition and everything and then we did that ad and then okay. that ad became super popular and it was really really good and then after that uh, i did the the film with uh, with the co stars and everything and that that was really nice as well yeah. so we had bought uh, parveen dabas you know uh, who acted as your and he was he was there he uh-huh. he came on board like a few two days before and you know he was also sharing his experience and you know he was talking about all the fun and all that oh my god parveen sir and uh, yeah yeah like they were so nice as well like they were uh-huh. so good uh, acting with uh, like child actors and kids and um, well we are not that much in touch but um, like like he he was really amazing at that time and i, I I'm, i'm sure he's safe now and i'm so i'm sure everything is okay back there he is doing great actually so you know are you are you following malayalam cinema still or you know some anyway your malayali friends are you talking about any new movies that's coming out and you know honestly uh, the only barrier yeah. is that i don't know how to speak malayalam or understand <laughs> so that okay. is like just causing me uh, you know like uh, but uh, i would honestly love to um, you know check out the the new cinema that's happening because i'm i'm pretty sure like the whole there's there's been a whole shift uh, of like uh, of of the of the way of making cinema back back there exactly. as well um, yeah. there's been a whole shift uh, from from the old like retro kind of different feel to like how they're making um, cinema right now so i would definitely love to get in like you know get in the groove and understand how mm-hmm. how the cinema is uh, in the kerala cinema but i would like also talk to my fans and like you know uh, ask them what they would recommend and what they would uh, really like like me to see so i would like uh, exactly yeah but yeah exactly just that i think after ayyappan man ayyappan chuttu you moved uh, you have done a few movies in bollywood as well right yes so um, honestly like i i would love to i, I would have loved to like do more uh, uh-huh. in in kerala as well but well that time i was like really little but after that i, I did like uh, three four movies um in in bollywood but more so i did a lot of commercials a lot of commercials happening oh, yes, yes. i did a, yeah i did a movie with ashutosh goalkar um uh, and abhishek bachchan and uh, there was uh, dipika uh, it was called khele hum ji jaan se i was one of the child actors in that before that movie um, there was a movie called kyu ho gaya na which uh, starred uh, uh, ashwarya ma'am and then uh, uh, amitabh sir and 
there was okay. also um, Sunil sir in that movie and and Vivek sir as well. So uh, that was uh, that was also a good experience for me. Then so I, I did a lot of lot of films, um, a lot of art films. Like uh, more so, I, I was into oh, yeah, art yeah. films. the commercial world so okay. that happened so, so yeah. you know usually what happens is you know all this child artists you know i'm i'm telling yeah. about, about 90% of what happens is you know they do that and when the phase is over they are out and then we don't hear about them anymore right that's exactly. what usually happens but you just followed up uh, you know yeah. not through acting but you took up cinematography and exactly. what is that interest interest that came into you know you really didn't want to continue as an actor or you wanted to do something better honestly like right now i it's it's not that i i've totally given up i i still uh-huh. want to i i still want to um, act and of course i was telling my i was telling my fans and all the people that have been connecting with me on facebook and instagram was that mm-hmm. if there's an opportunity or there's a chance i would really love to come back there and meet <laughs> all the loving people you know uh, uh-huh. all the kerala all the keralites and all the loving people and then do something for them you know because it's it's been so long and i know like they've been waiting and i have like totally deserted like after that film so mm-hmm. if there's a chance if there's anything i would like definitely come there um like do something like do a, do a nice film for my for my people like like the concept that they love and as as i said like things have changed and the times have changed and the whole concept and ideology of uh, of cinema has changed so if there is a current topic or a current subject that the fans or or the people are are are, are craving for i would love to get in the cinema and do that for them on the other side i've had a lot of experience i've been like a lot of experience in like behind the camera as well like producing cinematography um mm-hmm. you know editing as well so i've been in the toronto film industry kind of um uh learning cameras like doing cinematography for many uh, um art films commercials mm-hmm. music videos um short films narrative um stuff so uh, i've i've also had a good uh, chance and a good perspective towards understanding what is behind the camera and exactly. behind and behind cameras in like production and like mm-hmm. you know how long does it take for lighting or um, what is the exact lighting for a proper set or um like very very minute details and how mm-hmm. the processing is done from pre production post production to uh, production like everything okay. so that is give me a full idea of everything but i would really love to get back to acting like cuz that that was my passion initially as well and yeah. i would okay. like to do that again and uh, start off so yeah okay that's great we would really love to see you doing some you know wonderful characters down here in south so this is going to be a very a big shout out as well you know rohan is there oh, he's yeah. in toronto but when you know scene changes he's definitely going to come back here and oh, do a few yeah. movies okay definitely. okay so then i i want to ask this still do still malayalis recognize you maybe because i know toronto is a place where there are a lot of malayalis there and there are, i know yeah. do a few yeah they do they recognize you sometimes sometimes i i like there has been instances where they recognize i maybe I, i don't know because i had like like not not so much now because i think i had a uh, different hairstyle then you know i had okay. a big face and i had yeah, that yeah. Uh, very uh and i'm like really like kind of a cut yeah yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> it was like a very funny different cute hairstyle so maybe uh, not but uh, honestly like i have so many malayali friends that i uh, play soccer with like football uh, okay. almost like every alternate days so i haven't told them anything about it uh, i will wait <laughs> and see uh, if they okay. If they recognize me, then you know things are going to change. I think when this comes out, they are definitely going to recognize. Yeah, this is the same guy who we played soccer with. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get messages uh, on my chat and everything, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, you have the surprise for so long. Oh my god." <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Really, yeah. Okay. So, what was your best memory acting in that movie? You know? There is there has been like so many bleak memories, but um, the whole overall experience was like really pleasant and really nice. um some of the memories well there there was a little challenge for me uh, you know doing the lines of course cuz yeah. that was that was like i was really little and you know to memorize the lines and everything and you know i used to prompt so there was a so so um uh sir matthew paul um uh-huh. you know used to prompt me lines so before every scene when they said action uh i used to like you know act and everything i used to be in that full energetic feel and i used to act but when i used to forget my lines like there used to be somebody prompting me and telling my lines so i used to like somebody used to say something and then i used to like say it back as up right okay so um what happened was one instance i was saying something right and i i kept i i forgot something and then there was a line that was prompted and i, I used to say something and then uh, everybody started laughing everybody started uh-huh. laughing on stage and then um uh, matthew sir was like oh, okay cut we'll do it again 
and then uh-huh. it happened like I, it happened again and then I, and then okay. and then they prompted me and, and i said something again and again everybody started laughing and then i was like what is what is going on what what okay, happened yeah, what's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. like why 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 are they cutting like uh, why are they having a cut and like why is everybody laughing and okay. then uh, matthew uh, matthew sir comes and tells me you know you're saying this line well it 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 means a bad word in in, in another sense so you actually oh, saying okay. a bad <laughs> <laughs> and i didn't know what i was saying so uh-huh. uh, that was really funny and like uh, that's when i came to know i was like oh my god okay i need to i need to <laughs> okay. the right line and everything so okay. that was one instance and uh, um what else like there was the uh, um the the experience at um, we shot we shot at the backwaters uh, right mm-hmm. and um, i have a very bleak memory of uh, you know there was that song where the three of us are oh. are in the in the field and you know we are yeah. uh near the near the fishing net and like you know uh, all those locations those were like really beautiful locations and uh, i really love to swim so uh, it was like after um after the shot I, um i told my dad and my mom that i i really want to swim in this thing but uh, i could not because i i would get all wet and like you know uh, it would spoil the scene and everything and then yeah. uh, it was like after after the shot when uh, when when paul and me and you know everybody we all jumped in the in 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 the in in the lake in the river yeah, and then yeah, we yeah. were swimming. it was a, it was a good experience for me at that time uh-huh. uh, swimming with everybody and uh, matthew sir also came in and everybody jumped in the water and we were just enjoying and having a, having fun so that was okay. a great experience um, but very very like little bleak memories i have mm-hmm. uh, also there is one one really good memory uh, yeah. do you know it was i think it's the starting of the of the movie uh-huh. where i am hang- from a from a rope uh from a rope yeah. in my house and yeah. i am like uh, uh, i don't know i'm upside down uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. with my side uh, on, on the rope and uh, i'm swinging right and there is like a there is a there is like a i don't know how to say it it's, um like there's like stairs like handle oh, like handle okay. from stairs so um i was like like upside down upside down and, yeah. yeah upside down and then i was swinging right at one instant i was going to bang that with my head oh, uh-huh. and everybody was like oh watch out watch out and, and then i like just like got up and then uh-huh. everyone was like oh my god you just missed uh-huh. that moment and that uh-huh. was like really and i i really remember that uh, that scene uh-huh. and the whole crew was like oh my god yeah, it yeah. was uh, uh so that was like one of the scene as well but like small bits and moments like these are uh, are really eminent in my head and um, uh-huh. yeah when i look back those days it was a very nice pleasant experience for me so yeah. rohan it was it was really really nice talking to you and yeah. you know we would really really wish to see you more down here in south in malayalam movies because yeah. even this industry has you know uh, moved on a lot and you know uh, we are bringing up uh, you know a few good, very good cinemas i should say uh, right. during so if, if you follow you would know uh, though and all the best with all your work out there and oh, and a lot so of much. love from from kerala Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for uh, for having me on board and I hope like my love and my message is like goes to all my fans and all the people there uh and hope this video like you know uh like reaches to everybody and I, I and I also hope that everybody's safe and you know if this thing gets gets off like fast the the virus like thing he like just that like, gets off fast and everybody is safe and I hope I come there soon and like make some good movies for my for my people for my my yeah. fans there um but yeah absolutely it was a pleasure talking to you thanks for having me again and thank i hope you. to thank see you soon yeah thanks again thank you.